Well, the whole space is becoming consolidated. People are finding that it's far more efficient to have uh, the uses being senior housing, medical office building, and healthcare all located on the same campus so that you have the residential setting that uh, families and, and folks can live in and, and find engagement in, but also right next to the clinical uh, aspect that's gonna care for their physical and cognitive health. I think the opportunity now across the spectrum uh, of healthcare is for folks that are in senior housing, be it MOB or in the hospital and the clinical post-acute side or acute side of the business can all collaborate. I, I think that's the real trend. We're all starting to wake up, particularly because of um, ACO and, and uh, the, the integrated healthcare system as it's becoming, we're all seeing these opportunities to collaborate. Once somebody's through the, the emergency room and through the hospital, getting out into skilled uh, nursing and rehab, they have a place in a res residential setting like assisted living where they could be thriving and living at a much lower cost than staying in either either the hospital or in a staff. I have a little bit of a different perspective on that because I'm a uh, clinic tenant, uh, not, a, not a developer, not a broker. Uh, what it means for us is that we're looking uh, off-site more into neighborhoods. We do a lot of work in rural areas as well. So we're, uh, we're off-campus uh, clinic users, uh, tenants, and uh, so we're, we're expanding uh, the field that we look at. We don't have to necessarily be next to the hospital anymore. We can be uh, out and about in the, and closer to the community. I think the biggest surprise is probably the lack of government support. Um, there are many cases where we are trying to put uh, clinics in locations that we think are ideal, and often the, uh, the governmental agencies, building departments, uh, make it difficult to get your permitting and, uh, and, and not really cooperative in terms of, uh, of trying to find alternative ways to, uh, to solve some problems. Well, I'm, I'm surprised that Obamacare has not been repealed and that the ACA is alive and the Medicare expansion dollars are doing well. So groups like Federally Qualified Health Centers and companies like Fresenius are able to expand using Medi, Medi, Medi and Medicare dollars to further help the healthcare uh, population that needs uh, funding and insurance. I couldn't go out and develop medical office tomorrow. I couldn't go out and develop a hospital. However, I'm finding that hospitals are recognizing the same thing. So the collaboration that's happening with developers who have a real expertise in their given field, whether it be medical office building, a person like myself who's got some skill and, and experience in senior housing coming together and saying, okay, how do we really split this P? I, I think the, the biggest surprise or, or just uh, overwhelming uh, amount of capital and private equity that's starting to flood into not only senior housing, but healthcare in general. People have woken up and realized that this, this silver tsunami, as they call it, is real, and people are starting to, to invest wholesale into it.